Everybody, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy, and this video is to show you our first new product release for 2017 from Tracy Scott. Now, Tracy is well known for her gorgeous use of bright and vivid colour and also for sort of doing journaling with lots of flowers. And so these stamps are just a delight. You're going to really love them and find them so useful. And she has worked with Sandra Botham and Claire Messenger, who have created some stunning samples along with Tracy to share um, some brilliant ideas ideas with these new stamps. So here on the left are some samples from Sandra. She's done lots of ATCs, beautiful contrasting colours. Um, you can see the flower here. Uh, this stalk is actually off the next set, which I'll show you in a minute. But the, And then this lovely sample by Claire. She's got a lovely little transparent window linking in there so that you can see through to the flowers behind. Gorgeous samples. Here's some more, so there's another one from Sandra and this gorgeous one here from Claire. Lots of bright colour. And if I show you the second set, so you can see how fantastically well these two sets are going to work together. They're really designed to fit in um, seamlessly with lovely stalks. We've got this cool stalk on here which works so brilliantly and let me just run through because they have made loads of samples and they're all amazing so we've got some more ATCs from Sandra and a gorgeous lovely flower there this large tag which is just love the vivid colours on that. And then we've got some more tags here. Lovely colours that are being used, because Tracy's got some new paint, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, these colours are just so typical of her. So she's got some gorgeous pinks and orange and lovely jade blue, which is what you can see on that particular tag there. This is another bit a little bit more sparkly from Claire. Two samples there. And I love this large flower from Claire. Just beautiful layers. Lots of flecks of paint and just layering everything up is so stunning. This would be amazing on a canvas. Um, all kinds of journaling projects that you'd enjoy doing with these stamps. Now I've got quite a few samples here which uh, use both of these stamp sets. So the flowers, the two different flowers on the stamp sets there work really well. You've got this large one um, and the stalks. And if you look closely at the sample here you can see um, how this has been just cut out leaving a lovely little shadow there of the white. Just makes it look really crisp and fresh. Right, more samples from Sandra and this one's a bit more geometric so she's just used that as a sort of a green to break everything and I'm just amazed at her perfect cutting out skills there's another one so she's got a lovely simple braid background and then layered up the two different flowers on top and just contrasting and the way that you colour the elements you can cut out and layer up or you can use your pens to colour in um, Sandra's really good at colouring in with pens if you follow her on her blog you'll probably know that already so it's a real skill um, and a lot of fun exploring those options here's another one, lots of layered up flowers and I really like the use of white on this just makes everything pop and then here is another stamp set, so this is the third one, ETS08, so Eclectica, Tracy Scott, Plate 8. And we've got this stunning, beautiful use of the colours. So perhaps this is a good point for me to show you the paint colours. So we've got 
butternut, tangerine twist, prawn and jade. And these are paints that have been discontinued in the past and they didn't fit in with our colour schemes. Um, we were really sad to discontinue them so I'm sure a lot of you will be thrilled to see them back. Butternut is an opaque so it's a fantastic base if you're building anything with bright colours or if you want to put brighter oranges such as tangerine or tango on top of butternut you're going to get a really really strong orange colour. Prawn is a semi-opaque and it's a lovely mid-tone pink. It's not your sort of Barbie doll pink, it's a more, co more towards the coral side of things. And because that's a semi-opaque, it also allows you to really build depth and then to layer on top. So putting uh, bougainvillea on top of prawn is going to give you huge vibrancy. You can see in this sample here that the prawn sits really nicely on top of other colours because it slightly blocks them out. Um, so that's a nice option and then the jade is a really lovely dark teal and it's opaque which is fantastic because most of our other um, sort of brighter blues uh, like Inky Pool for example are translucent um, but this works beautifully of course with your turquoise with Caribbean Sea in particular and they've used a bit of Caribbean Sea in their samples uh, for the, all of these projects. So this is just extends the current oranges, pinks and blues that are already in the paper artsy range and fits in perfectly with those. So we're thrilled to be able to offer you those and let me show you some more samples using this gorgeous set Tracy Scott set 8 so this flower can be used on its own it's got a stalk attached to it as you see but fantastic for layering up here's a little ATC that uh, Sandra has made and then she's done this amazing um, journaling page it could be in a journal, it could be on a canvas. There's just so much going on in here and you can really see the colours coming through there. She's also got some cherry red on there. So the cherry red sits beautifully on top of the prawn just to add that depth. That's where the translucent paints are so cool. They always look fantastic on top of an opaque. And then this is quite an icy little number using Caribbean Sea, a bit of jade um, and some chalk paint in there. Again, another one with the lovely oranges and pinks. And then this one is using lots of the colours, all beautifully merged in together. So that's a lovely sample. And there are some stencils on here, which fittingly takes me onto Tracy's new stencils. So she's got three stencils. And this is a sample that Tracy's made. I'll just move that over a little bit there. So I love how she's stenciled in black to really make, uh, she's got this gorgeous bright background and then by stenciling in black on top it really pops. And she's used a white gel pen or paint pen to highlight the stencil and just to really bring in a little bit more definition. So doodling here on top of that area just really makes it all pop and adding accents of other colours as well. So you've got so many lovely paint pens and all kinds of colours out there in the marketplace at the moment. They're going to be perfect with this. Here's another one from Tracy. And she's layered on top one of her stamps on top of this central element from the stencil. And that's the last stencil there. And here's the sample to go with that stencil. So there's lots of different elements on here. Um, and they, I love how she's used the flowers on top. So the stencils are kind of in the background, breaking up that background, um, but still using the stamps on top of the layers there. So that's three fantastic stencils, some paints and beautiful stamps from Tracy Scott. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy all of these products. She's done a fantastic job uh, and they're so versatile for so many different crafting situations. Click on the link in the video description to go through to see who stockists are of all of these new products and to also go to the blogs of the other designers that have created gorgeous samples for you in this new product release. We'll see you again soon.